Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Sword of Vermelon. On our last installment, we got a few things done. Namely, we dealt with that pain in the ass fetch quest. The probably only pain in the ass fetch quest that I will ever do in this godforsaken game. And now. I'm going to do something that will cause you to say, what the fuck did I do that for? And then some. First off, remember a while back in which in the town of Malaga there's an item shop? Well, guess what we're going to do? We're actually going to go there. We're actually going to go... We're actually going to go to the uh, item shop right now. We'll be back here very shortly, but for now though... We're going back to Malaga. The only reason why is that item shop. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna give you the reason why it has to be done. In here, in this item shop, you'll speak with the owner. Now the owner will offer you three items, that of which has no value. You can pick one of these items, like so. Which is the vase, the joke book, and the small bomb. Now it doesn't matter which one you pick. Because like I said, these really have no value. So let's take the vase. Okay, but that's very expensive. What you do here is you say yes. It seems that you don't have enough money to buy that item. What can we do? I know, I'll take your sword too. Well, now you're a poor warrior without a sword. Here, take this one and get out before I change my mind. And what it gives you here is... an iron sword. And as you can see here... Yeah. Strength has dropped a bit, but not by much. He only takes your swords. Now remember this place later. Now the one thing I'm also going to do is warp over to Barrow. Actually, no, I have to be outside to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do Gonna warp to bottle. You remember what this old man says? The cave of Burgundy. That's where we're going to. We're going to the cave of Burgundy to the southwest. And it has the grandson of grandson of fifteen thousand Kim. And as you can see, I have no money whatsoever. How well, do you think we fix that? Very simple. We battle. Trust me, when we come back to this place, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth all of it. It'll be worth why he did it. Now, the 
my friends know why, but to you viewers, you don't know why he did it. That's why we're going to be building that Kim Supply all the way back up. So that's the next time over doesn't really have any shops, so therefore... Eva flourishes when the rings are scattered. Yes, I know. So like I said before, you know... It's not a big issue. The Kim right now isn't worth squatting. Anyway. At this point, it, at this point in the game, it really isn't worth squat. One moment. Alright, just had to make sure I was on the right path. So yeah, Kim at this point does not play a factor. So you're wondering why we're going to the Cave of Burgundy. The reason why we're going is because <sighs> just for side quest purposes. Not what was I hoping for, but I'm not sure the chrono off. No. There's a reason why I haven't shown a chrono off. Chrono off. getting lost. I'm just actually looking at the map next to me. Sadly, yes, all that hard-earned Kim, I just, I just picked up for myself, all gone. Bring it, guys. been here before. Well, 
gang. <laughs> I was about to pull up my menu. They just like, no. Going back into town. I'm not sure either. So, a full day's of rest. What you thinking? That was cold blooded, yeah. But really, is it that cold blooded? There are a couple other areas that, um, well, yeah, not areas, but a few items that can be found. Which would make a lot of sense. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you for um, helping <laughs> helping my problem there. For those who are wondering, that's what Tasio. That's what Tasio. That's what Chrono does. Chrono actually stops on for about two seconds. Yeah, I've already taken care of those. Those idiots.
Yeah, actually I'm warping from the barrel area to tag caster. Agate Jewel. As I mentioned before, the Agate Jewel gives back some um, MP. Might be wrong in where it is. Nah, I, I got Toxios. I don't need Poison Bomb. Finding all these guys for what reason? Uh, if I can't find the cave of Burgundy, I'm just gonna move on. Okay, what kind of magic spells do you have in Elwick? I almost forgot you got that, those kind of spells. Okay. Maybe next time. You know what? It's only money, so you know what? Let's just move on with the actual actual quest. Let's go back to Swapham! And I'll be right back. Alright, now. Guess where we're going. If you guess where my old home was, you'd be correct. But how do we get there? We had to go by the, um... You had to go there by the ivory cave, except instead of going south, Instead of going south, we're just going way What well, damn it, where am I supposed to go? Thank you. 
But hey, I got myself a level up out of it, so it's all right. <laughs> oh, but don't you love those down, but down must situations? get monotonous folks actually I was going the right way I'm seeing myself going around in circles folks was luck right there. Jeez. That was just straight up luck right there.
I'm actually just going to make sure where I'm going is right. Like I said, I'm looking to my to my left. There's only one way to find out. You know, the way I'm going right now... I'm feeling pretty good about this. Do I need to call Chaos Control on you? I've been here before. Okay. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to check something real quick and I'll be right back. All right. Now you see this area where there's no map? This is where we are. So the one thing we're going to do is, as we are here, we're actually going to find the map area to the place. Because like I said, you at this point in the game, you cannot find the map by normal means by actually going into a town and... And seizing, you know, control of the map because, you know, you can. Now, where we're going to now is the Excalibria Caves. Lunas! And the Excalibur Caves are where we, we're going to have to go next because the next town over is the ruined town of Excalibur. So there are a lot of enemies out for blood, namely my blood. They're gonna have to beat my ass first in order to get it. Now, thankfully, the good thing is I leveled up a lot, so therefore, even if I got the weakest weapon, it wouldn't have mattered.
In here we find... I'm taking that map, thank you. Map. It's very easy to get confused here if you don't know where, what you're doing. Or actually where you're going. Because they have two, because this is the first part of caves. And they all lead to different parts of the, uh, of this area. One moment. Okay. Where we're going here is to get the map of the entire area. But at the same time, we're actually going through this area. We're actually going to navigate through this area with a teeny bit of a handicap. We're going to take uh, this route. And we're going to the right path first because there's an old man and he will give us the map of the entire area. Once again, here's a map of the area. Thank you. So see, there you have the entire map of the area. Now we can go this way to the second half of the caves. And we haven't seen these eyeball enemies in a while. Oh, don't worry about that shul. That 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 shul. Don't worry about that tool. That tool. That, that tool guy over there. He's, there's a reason. So we open this. We take the map. Ta-da. I really didn't need the side the side map I was looking at just to get past here. But in any case. Knowing that we can actually get here without no trouble. That says a lot. So the question to ask is, would it matter if I had done the done the thing when I was in Malaga the first time? No, it wouldn't make sense. Besides, it made better sense if I had done this now than I had done it later, because if I had done, 
if I had done it much later, I would never... I would never actually get access to the ultimate weapon of the game. Okay, that was weird. And for the record, did you guys catch that? Because if you did, just let me know if that was totally another uh, weird. I know my eyes didn't see me when I saw that. Um, I'm damn sure my eyes didn't see me when I saw that. Guys are gonna level me up. And as you can see, we are on this end. Now, where I went to was um, I had to go south from Swaffham. I almost got myself confused, but I had to go south from Swaffham. Like I was going to the Ivory Cave. And just go to the far east. Where there was no map. I'll take my level, thank you. I believe the max level is 31. Seventeen thousand cam and a graphite sword. In it. And this point in the game, I'm going. To, I'm. I'm pretty damn close to getting the best sword of the game. this actually leads to the last this actually leads to the last area Oh, 
nothing here in that nook. One moment. Okay. Now, believe it or not, there it goes again! Now, you have to go down here. Yeah, that's a short map right here. So yes, you have to navigate through this area of the this area of the of this cave. So I go down here. To your right, and we'll find a floor map. Like so. Open this up. And we take the floor map. upper, the exit you see on your upper right, that leads to a dead end. So where we want to go to is we want to go to the one hiding on the lower, the slightly lower right hand side. Take that money. This right here. Take this exit right here. And at least here. Take that back. Number three doesn't really lead you to a dead end. But instead it leads you to the actual exit. My mistake. I was looking at the I was looking at it wrong. Anyway. In that case, what we're gonna do is 
We're actually gonna find the floor map of the first floor of the third cave. I'm actually glad I'm, I'm actually taking on this game now than I, when I was a kid. And that was back then in which I didn't really have an internet. So there would have been no way, there would have been no way of me knowing where the hell to go. Had I not known where the hell I was going. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around this spiral just to find the floor map to the first floor. Yeah, as stupid as it may sound. this we find a map inside and we take the map so what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack to the second floor Like so, and if you're wondering about Kim, like I said, Kim is not a big thing now, it's just, it's simply just to buy spells now, or armor. Glitchy! Glitchy shrooms. So now we're actually going to go to the exit of of that cake. Adios! Now we're gonna go back up here and go to that, um, go to that little nook. Nice! Ah, uh, the glitchy shrooms. I'm not messing with y'all. But I will mess with you eyeballs. So 
Well, we're actually going to go up here. And... Really? We're going to be leaving this place. Like right now. And now we just need to get out of this area. So this actually lead us to The era known as Excarabria. No, you're not stopping me from going home. Sock on us, the pawn of evil. Like, I don't know this. Oh, come on! Fuck you guys, I'm out. This is the fallen kingdom of Excalibria. There's nothing left of this place because of what a Carthinia did. And this is all that's left. Long have I waited for you. This is this is Excalibria, your birthplace. I am Newt. I was one of your father's most loyal servants. May I see the rings? Okay. Oh no! This ring of earth is a fake! Return to Swatham for the true ring! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Really? 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 It's not the true ring? Hold on. It's not the true... Not the true ring. Swap him! Oh! Hello, Lord Cheapskate. After you left. The hordes of Carthania swarmed over our walls and destroyed fair Swaffle. Only I remain. My people have been killed or driven away. The monster stole my treasure and the true ring of earth. Only you can stop them now. to tell me that what you gave me was a fake. Now you're saying, oh, it's up to me. Why the fuck did you give him the goddamn true ring in which you knew I was the man to actually get the, act to get the actual ring? You gave me a fucking fake, you goddamn motherfucking dipper super. Mm. Piss in.
Well, that sums up everything now, folks. I am purely pissed off. Pissed off of the fact that this place is no more. I now have to warp back to Excalibria. Because of that jackass. That jackass screw up the plan. Swap them as ruins. That is terrible news. We don't have much time. There are three rings of good left for you to find, and Sarkon has them all. He inherited the ring of power and stole the ring of the sun and the ring of the earth. Now you must hunt down Sarkon and wrest the rings from him. You can get information in the towns along the way. for me to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here in the next part. We shall look down our strategy and see if we can whip Sarkon's ass once and for all. When Let's Play Sword of Amalion returns right after this.